If you're still editing videos the old fashioned way, clipping, trimming, timeline scrubbing like it's 2010, then you're wasting hours every single week. That's where Descript comes in. It flips the entire traditional editing workflow on its head and makes editing videos as simple as working within a Google Doc, or at least mostly. AI tools are everywhere these days, but very few of them actually live up to the hype. However, Descript is one of them. I've been using Descript for years now. Every single video practically that you see on my channel has been edited with Descript. They've continually added new features and performance improvements that at this point in time are allowing me to produce three YouTube videos a week relatively easily and without even the risk of burnout. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm using Descript, my video editing workflow, so that I'm able to consistently edit any YouTube video, whether it be a talking head style video, a screen recording, or even a vlog in just about one hour. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent full stack marketing strategist living in Denver, Colorado and working with my clients on brand strategy engagements, web design and development projects and ongoing marketing retainers. Now I use Descript both in my business workflow making YouTube videos just like this, but also in a lot of the different content creation efforts that I'm regularly helping clients with, whether that be editing the podcast, editing their YouTube videos, editing short form content, all that type of stuff. Descript is a very user friendly tool. You'll see in a second, rather than the traditional editing process that features a timeline, while Descript still does have that, rather, and this is what makes it especially good for talking head style video content, it will simply generate a transcript of everything you say, and then all you need to do to edit the video is to edit the transcript accordingly. So if you're just getting started with content creation, or you don't need all the bells and whistles that Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Premiere offer, and your videos are gonna be much more simple and straight to the point, and you're not looking to be the next Mr. Beast, then Descript is a fantastic tool that I couldn't recommend enough. One of the main reasons why is that there's a bunch of AI editing tools that really streamline the entire process and will allow you to do 70% of the edit right away. I'm talking about those admin type editing tasks where you need to remove the filler words like the likes or the ums and you need to remove the spaces in between when you're talking and then you need to remove the retakes when you say the same thing over and over again trying to get the best take. Descript has built in AI features that will automatically do all of that. So based on just clicking a couple buttons, I'm already 70% done with the edit and then I just need to polish it up and then it's basically good to export and upload into YouTube. All right, I've done enough talking. I'm sure you wanna see Descript. So let's get right into the screen share. I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm using it. And also do note that I'm gonna have my affiliate link in the description of this video if you wanna try Descript out yourself. You will see that we are here inside the Descript dashboard. So basically the way it works, these are all my different projects here. You can see here it has really added up. So I'm doing everything from screen recording presentations. I will sometimes send clients. Obviously the YouTube videos, just like this. I'm helping one of my clients edit a podcast on a bi-weekly basis. And then I've also been helping one of my clients produce and edit their YouTube videos. So you can see everything saved here, which is great because if you're a marketing team, whether internally or an agency, basically anyone who has access can jump in here and access the videos as needed. So let's just go to any of these video examples. Doesn't really matter which one you will see. So this is the first composition. It's basically like layers within a project. And I always start out by uploading the raw video file, typically 10 gigabytes or so into the project here. So you will see here it's already been done. This is the raw transcript. And as you can see, for every word that's spoken, it generates a transcript here on the left-hand side. Now note that we still have the traditional timeline editor here, along with a bunch of these tools as well that are probably gonna be pretty familiar to you if you are a 
video editor. So I am fairly, I would say I'm like an advanced beginner when it comes to video editing. I want to eventually get better with more advanced techniques and skills. Eventually, once I am bigger and more famous, then we'll focus a bit more on editing properly. You can see here is the entire raw transcript. I start off every single project by going to these AI tools section here, and you'll see I immediately will shorten the word gap. Let's see if we were to do this here. It's a 28 minute video file, for example. Let's shorten the word gaps. We'll say anything longer than 0.3. That's usually what I'll do. And you can see already we've removed about seven minutes of the entire video file right off the bat. Now, again, if you had to do that manually, like you would have five years or so ago, that right there probably would have taken you 45 minutes or so. Then what I will do is I will remove the filler words. And I really don't have too many of these usually these days. So you can see here you know, there's only nine to remove. So I'll remove that. And then what I like to do is I like to remove the retakes as well. So... It usually takes like a second or so. This is like when you repeat yourself just trying to get the best take. It says its AI algorithm is able to find your best take. I don't always find that to be the case, but this is just like, we're just trying to get started here. So then I'll copy the edits to a new composition. And then you can see that removed about another three minutes or so. And then depending on the topic and how I felt like I performed, I'll sometimes edit it for clarity as well. And I'll usually do it till the low because it's pretty strong when it does this. But this is good if it's a lengthy video and I know I should be a bit more straight to the point. Again, it usually takes 30 seconds or so to do. Once it's done here, I will then copy the edits over to a new composition again. And then you can see we went from a 27 minute video file down to a 15 minute video file. Then I will typically go through this on 2x speed and then I will start to edit it. So sometimes it edits things that I think need to be put back in. So I'll do that. Other times I edit more than it took out. So I'll do that. Then I just make sure all the gaps are good. Sometimes I'll add the studio sound depends. Sometimes I have a fan on in the background. This will just basically remove background sound and then also just make your voice sound a bit more fuller. So I will do that. But if you were to have this at 100%, your voice just starts to sound robotic and weird. So I'll typically do 15 to 25% or so. And then I'll also add a little bit of an EQ just to make the voice a little clearer. And then when it comes to the visual effects, I don't do much here. I do want to get a new Sony camera soon though and start color grading. So I'm starting to think eventually I will do the initial edit in Descript and then I will color grade in something like probably like DaVinci because it's free. And then what I'll typically do though is I'll just do some quick color adjustments. So if we look at the final edit eventually here this was the final edit you can see we went from a 27 minute video i eventually added this down to a nine and a half minute video you will see here the like, color adjustments are pretty basic i really just like the exposure while i have a sony camera that i film on i really do like the iphone of the very bright vibrant image well saturated that's just what i like it's my style you'll see i add in a little like eq here as well it's pretty standard stuff nothing too crazy then you will see here that we also will eventually, as I go in, I'll also create these markers here. And then it has this very cool feature, which is still in beta. I'm not a big fan of beta features in any software. I'm just, yo, tell me when it's ready, then I'll use it. Otherwise, I don't care. But you can just ask it questions and you can even change the model you're working with. So you'll see here, it defaults to auto, but then there's a bunch of different Claude and ChatGPT models you can use. And then I'll usually just be like, give me the timestamps for YouTube chapters. We want to say please, of course. And then they'll typically do that. And then I can copy and paste it directly in. So this is great. But the promise here with this Underlord chatbot is that eventually you'll be able to just talk to the chatbot and it'll edit your videos accordingly. Again, it's in beta. I haven't played around with it too much, but there was one time in one of the podcast edits I had to do where there would have been this very manual edit that would have taken like 30 or 40 different times I would have had to go through the video file to do. Didn't want to do that. I asked the AI chatbot to do it and it did it all automatically and it was pretty crazy, not going to lie. So you have a bunch of other features here. You can do, for example, it has this feature to make like eye contact better. So I don't really have an issue with that, but if I did, you could do that. You could center people. That, that's basically like kind of auto cropping or so. There's a green screen effect built in. I don't really use that, but it could be cool. They also have a bunch of like image and AI video generators, but personally, I'm staying away from all that. I just think it looks cheesy, quite honestly. You can also blur the background, but my camera takes care of that. There's also a bunch of built-in tools here for repurposing it. So you can create a highlight reel if you wanted to. This would be a good like teaser for social media. You can find clips and create the highlights from there, which is really cool. And then I've never done this, but apparently you can also translate it. So that's cool. 
Then here, there's a bunch of built-in AI tools. Again, I'll typically just like copy and paste the transcript into ChatGPT or Claude and then work with that directly. But if you wanted to, or maybe you don't have access to the premium models on those LLMs, then you could also do this here. And then there's a bunch of brainstorming type tools here, but I don't really use that quite honestly. You also have here, if you really wanted to get more in depth with the video editing, which on some edits I do, but on most of them, I'm really just trying to keep it very like low dopamine, if you will, for lack of a better term. There's a bunch of features you can add in here and effects. There's a captions, of course, you can include. There's all the stock media library, both for visuals and audio. So you have basically everything you need. And then like, for example, in this one, I included a bunch of B-roll from a bunch of different websites. That just goes over on the timeline editor accordingly. And then you can find all your files within the project here. So hopefully this all makes sense and you can see how I use Descript. And honestly, there's really not even a whole lot of detail because at least the way I'm using it, very simple. And then when you want to export it, you can publish it via a link but I will typically just locally export it because I find that has better quality. And then you can also adjust the settings here right beforehand so you can make sure that all your settings here are properly set. And last but not least, if you were collaborating with a the team, there's also built-in common functionality as well if you wanted to do that. So hopefully you can see that this really is like as simple as editing a Word doc. So whether you're a beginner content creator or not very technical, but you want to get into content creation, honestly, with a tool like Descript, it's simply never been easier. And honestly, you really don't have a technical excuse anymore not to be making video content because the barrier to entry has now been lowered significantly thanks to a tool like Descript. So that's how I am using Descript to edit and produce three YouTube videos per week. Hopefully you got a good idea of how it could fit into your video workflow and you can see all the different marketing use cases for it. Now, if you understand how important video content is for a modern marketing strategy, but you've been struggling to actually develop a marketing strategy that is not only able to grow your brand awareness online, but also able to generate leads and of course help you increase sales and revenue. If you're having any problems with that, then definitely book a strategy call with myself. Check out the link in the description. It's a five minute interactive video form. And if you're qualified, you'll be able to schedule time directly on my calendar. Otherwise, thank you for watching everyone. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll get back to you when I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.